Okay, today I will discuss how to backup and restore your Cisco Call Manager CUCM. First, we have to download the SolarWinds SFTP Manager. Then we'll configure your S SFTP. And then uh, we should test the communication between your PC and your CUCM because the CUCM backup will go to your PC which your SolarWind SFTP is installed and then we'll do the backup okay first we have to download here I have the Windows PC so I will just search for SolarWinds SFTP it's free so just click to download download the free tool and then you just put your email address and then proceed and then click download so now when it's download should open it will install it okay run I agree install launch okay from here so we'll save in the root we will not change it we'll save the backup there and then on the IP uh, we can get the IP of this PC so we'll just so 1080 1070 10 the 3 1070.10.3 and then add and click OK from here you open again we'll create a username click new user and then we'll put admin and then we'll put admin 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 just for easy for demonstration purposes only apply changes click ok now we'll check the ping between the call manager and the so as you can see the IP address of our call manager is I'll go back to my is 10.7 10 10.70 12 10.10 Okay, 10 70 12 10 so ping 10 70 12 10 so it is switchable so now we log into our call manager our SFTP is ready as you can see it is ready now okay, click ok everything is fine IP is fine user is fine and then click ok then we'll go to the we'll go to the call manager to the CUCM console. Okay, launch by remote. Now you just go here, navigate the Cisco call manager. 1080.1070.10.3 I believe no, wait, wait. 12 .10. 10.10 12.10 HTTPS okay so from this PC I'm a little bit confused so we have to open here 12.10 okay proceed then I'll put admin Then we'll go to backup 
disaster recovery system and then click go it will ask to log in again then click login what's the problem so as you can see we're here now on disaster recovery system and just go to backup so we'll, we'll define the backup device okay add new then we'll just put like Tony PC okay. the IP is 10.70 Hold the three. Now let's double check. Ten seventy ten the three. Ten seventy the ten the three. Ten the three. Then the path will be like this, and then admin. Admin. We'll just only one backup and then save. So now we are added successfully when you go to backup device you will see it's here now we will do the backup so manual backup and then select this this by PC and then we're good to go we just click start click ok the DRS backup marker depends on the current security password click ok so let's see now now it's try it's starting to backup so we'll see this user system tray where's the logs we'll see on drive C SFTP huh? wrong so it's still copying as you can see zero bytes we will wait for it I want to show the activity system tray logs, where's the logs So we'll wait so until it will be finished so it will show here 18 kb and then still still on progress the percentage is one percent okay well i will post the video and then i will come back once it is almost 100 percent as you can see we are on 81 percent now let's wait for a while okay as you can see now it's 100 percent back up so and you will see on the folder of sftp here all the files are saved here so that's it that's how to back up your cucm uh take note also when you back up make sure your your publisher and and sub should be sh should be turned on as well both of them thank you